Yo, what's up? I'm your boy, Sir Fly, and you're tuned in to another episode of Off Fly. The whole premise of this show is helping you channel your inner flyness, just like your boy said fly. Since fly recognizes fly, here's something fly this week. Ooh. Three billboards outside Evan, Missouri. Man, this movie was amazing. Three billboards, it's been nominated for seven Academy Awards. Seven plus three is 10, so it's a 10 on my scale. Maybe not a 10, but a nine and a half. Let's start where the credit is due, and that's with the writer-director himself, Martin McDonough. You probably know him from the movie Seven Psychopaths, but he started out as a playwright. He even won an Academy Award for a short film called Six Shooter. But most of y'all probably just know him from Seven Psychopaths. This movie picks up right where that left off. Matter of fact, it might be the second part to this story. Dark, gritty premise that takes you down a back street to nowhere and leaves you wondering, did that really happen? Yeah, it did. So this movie stars Frances McDormand as Mildred. She's a mother dealing with the fact that her daughter was raped and killed and nobody knows what happened. I told you it was a dark, gritty premise. It also stars Woody Harrelson as Sheriff Willoughby. Shout out to Woody Harrelson and White Man Can't Jump. Look, still don't think you can hear Jimmy. Sam Rockwell giving a hell of a performance as a deputy named Dixon. Think of Barney Fife with an alcohol problem. Also, you got Tyrion Lannister himself, Peter Dinklage. I live my life by the Tyrion Lannister credo, except I don't pay for the whole. So now that I've told you about the players, let me tell you a little bit about the game. Like I said, it's all about Mildred's daughter being raped and killed. So, what she decides to do is put up three billboards on this stretch of road that nobody ever uses to get the police off their ass and find the murderer. That's when the fun begins. What that leads to is a game of one-upsmanship between Sheriff Willoughby and Mildred herself. All kind of crazy things happen. I'm not going to say too much, but let's just say people get punched in the face, thrown out of windows, set on fire, Hmm, what else can you ask for from Martin McDonough? What I was thinking is, maybe it was one of those missing psychopaths from his last movie that nobody ever caught. Hmm, Francis McDermott did an awesome, excellent, splendiferous, any other kind of Don King word you want to throw in there, performance. If you know Francis, you know she does a great job at these kind of roles. Remember Fargo? It really falls back on the scribe himself, because Martin did a great job of making you feel like one of these small town folks from BFE, Missouri. Scene one and scene two, he gets you pulled in. You think you know exactly where scene three is going. And that's when he does the whole, you can't see me and changes everything up. You're gonna have to watch this movie two, three times. So, since three billboards didn't have a major release in most theaters, you had to go to those specialty theaters to see it. A lot of you guys are waiting after you're hearing all this hubbub about it. What you should do is order your Blu-ray now. You can get it on Amazon.com, Target. Hell, you can even walk into a Best Buy. Just don't try Blockbuster Video because I don't think they're around no more. What I'm hoping is they got some maybe missing scenes. You know, maybe Peter Dinklage and Francis McDormand. Woody comes on and talks about Wildcat. Plus, I would love to hear Martin's take on why he went down this road. I think this might have even been a true story. But anyway. I'm Sid Fly, you're watching Alt Fly. Hope you enjoyed the flight. They never found out who shot Big Ear Tupac either. Maybe I'll put up a billboard.